you know the you know um, you you activated my account yesterday or rather I activated it yesterday but I've not placed an order yet because I tried to do that I don't know how to do that all right I made a co-host can you share your screen let me walk you I think your, your, yours will be the last um, thing we're going to be dealing with this share your screen um okay you got it. You 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 bind your the bot to to your exchange already, right? Yeah. So just open the Prime Bot app. I did it uh, with um, Hobby. And you have funds on your Hobby account, right? I have yeah, hundred now. Okay. Um, there were some signals that were sent out on the group today. So uh, if you can open that group, let's look at one of the signal and then um, open your WhatsApp chat, open the group. Let's look at one of the signals, see how we can set up that trade for you now. Okay, WhatsApp chat, yeah. Is it the one you wrote to, um, double? Can you see? Yes. Which one is it? Is it Argo? I, I think there are two, two yes, trades, right? One called, um, no, I think the Argo one. The last one is Argo, right? Okay, let me see. Okay. Now, now, look at, let me, let me, let me explain. The last one is what? Argo. The, la the, the other one is Matic. Now, this is what I want to explain here. They say purchase price should be 30 USDT. Now, from what I was showing us yesterday, if you are using 30 USDT as your first purchase price, it means that you should be expecting to make 2% um, profit of 30 USDT because that is what the take profit is actually um, saying here. The take profit ratio is 2%. But if the market drops and you are using one split or two split, it means that for you to cover for the first split, the first split for with 30 years, you need about, um, was it 210? We saw yesterday, yes, 210 years and the rest to cover for the first split. Here, the number of split they have given you here is one, two, three, four split. You should be able to cover up to four split. You understand? So the take profit ratio is 2%. The ending callback is 0 0.1. And then the circle stop should be when algo gets to $2.87. If Argo gets to $2.87, automatically to stop for you. So what is Argo right now? What is the price of Argo in the market right now? If I go to Argo USDT, the current price right now is a uh, dollar 74 cent. That is what the dollar, the, the current price is. And mm. um, you are asked to put a stop, um, circle stop at uh, two dollar eighty seven cent. So yeah. let's go and carry out that trade. Go back to the prime board. Let's um, take that trade. Okay. Yeah. So click on order, mm -hmm. and then use the search. You have not. Use the search um, option at the top there to search for the algo USDT. Can you click on this refresh um, button here to refresh? Let's see your balance, the balance in your, okay? So click on that search icon to type algo USDT there so that we can carry out that trade. I think, I think it's Matic, not algo. Matic, okay, go for the Matic, type Matic there. Okay, uh, Matic. So what do I do? Now, when you type Matic, the next thing to do is select, click on the Matic. Now click on the setting icon there. Setting icon, yeah. 
So um, you have 100 years in your account. So I would prefer we go with um, the that with 15 US um, as the first purchase price so that it will be able to cover for the second split. So click on circle. Uh, let's see how that plays out. Then click on the split Martinga. Oh. Now the number of split, you don't have, you only have 100 years. DT, so uh, maybe we'll just use the only the Two. 100, the, the one split because to cover for okay. one split with 15 years, DT, you need at least 105. So just leave it as one split. Go ahead, click the uh, take profit ratio, change it to 2%. 2%. Yeah, yeah. No, you can leave it at 1% uh, or whatever. No, I mean the take profit ratio, not the number okay. of split. Take profit ratio. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Number Change of split. Number of split to one. Take profit ratio to 2%. Okay. 2%. Yeah. Then the only, only call back, make it a 0 0.1. So remove that 0 0.3 and put 0 0.1. Zero point one. The next one, leave it as default. Go now. The circle stop. The circle stop is three three eighty seven, right? Two dollars eighty seven cent. Can you check that again? Let's confirm that. Yeah, it's two dollar eighty seven cent. Yeah. Okay, put two dollar eighty seven. Yeah. The price. No, 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 no. Yeah. This other one. Yes. Two dollar. It's, um, yeah. So now the number of split go scroll down. So you put um three percent and four percent. It means that when the price drops by three seven percent, it should cover for the first um split. So um first cover put three percent, then second cover put uh, two four percent there and save. So we'll come again. Do I need to put anything here? Where you have this one, Daniel, where you say first cover, can you remove the one and put three there? Okay. Then the next option should be four. Click on update. Confirm. Start up. Let's try again. What did they say? He said I should try again. I think if he brought out um, red uh, uh, system error. It says that try again. Signature not valid. API not key valid. has no permission. Ah, permission. You didn't give the API key permission. Go, go open your Huobi. Let's see if we can edit that API. You didn't give it permission to trade. So um, when you created the API, you didn't give it permission to trade, so it, it won't trade. Okay. Just minimize that and look for your Huobi app and open it up. Uh, I don't think I have downloaded it here. Huh? Where do you access the Huobi? Is it directly on the web? Or... No, no, I, I accessed it on my laptop. Oh, okay. Maybe I, do I need to download it? If you can download it as fast as possible and then log in. Yeah, it's, fast, it's quite, my lap, my phone is very fast. It's, um, it's already installing now. So once you finish, you just, um, can you stop sharing your screen? Once you log in, then you can share back the screen. Okay. Yes, once you log into the Wobi, you can now share the screen and let me know. Uh, while we wait for him to share his screen, um, any other question? Yes, I have a question. Go ahead. Okay. If you're using the Prime board, aside from the subscriptions you 
the, the fund, you are still going to fund the DIA or UB or finance accounts, right? Yes, you need funds. The funds to trade should be in your Binance or Wobi account. Okay, that's aside from the hundred dollars you're paying for the yearly subscription. Yes. Yeah. Hello. Yes. Go ahead. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening, sir. I have a question. When we were taking the the single, the old strategy on the prime bot table, like a martingale table, something like that. I don't know if you recall. Mm. Do you have something similar for this uh, split martingale strategy? Um, sorry, I didn't get that question right. No, I said when we were when we were going through the initial uh, strategy of prime bot, you yes. know, you give us there was this uh, payout amounts and the cover, how much you need if you have fifteen US, if you are doing thirty US, like how much you need to cover up to five cover up to seven cover. It's like mm -hmm. a table. Yes, I'm asking. I'm asking if you have something similar for the split martingale strategy. Okay, I'll, I'll put. Um, I'll put it together and then forward it. I have not done that yet, but I will have to put them oh, together okay. and forward, yes. Oh, okay, okay. We'll appreciate it so that we have an idea of how we invest in this. It's all right. Thank I'll you. put that together and forward, yes. Thank you, thank you. All right. So yeah. um, if you are finished sharing, um, logging in, can you share the screen back again? Okay. Um, let me do um, the video. Okay. Yeah. So, I think you should go to my. Go, go to, to my. Settings. Yes. Just go to my. It's not home. It's actually on that my. Yeah, setting. Now click um, the setting icon, icon at the top there. there. Um, so that's, uh, it's this one, is it? Then other setting. Yeah, this is setting. Yeah. Switch mm -hmm. account. No, no, no. Switch account. Click on general. Let me see. Oh, okay. Yeah. That. This is API. Yeah. Click on the API <laughs> manager. Uh -huh. Yeah. Click on this is the one you created, right? It's only Royal Key that is here. Where is the one for Prime Bot? Okay. This hmm? is. I think I made a mistake. I'm supposed to put Roy... Prime Bot. I put Royal Key. So okay. It's the name that is now Royal. click on it. Click on it. Mm -hmm. And change it. No, don't change it. Just leave it. Okay, go ahead. Change it. Change it to prime board. Change it to prime board. Yeah, I think it's a mistake. Prime board. Yeah. Now the permission you need to give to this board is this trade. Can you click on the trade? Trade. Yeah. Now click on confirm. So you yeah. send the go send the authenticator for your email. Copy and paste, and then do the one of the Google Authenticator. Okay. You know, another thing you can do on that Authenticator, you can just click and, uh, yeah. and copy. I've done it. Now go back to the Prime board. You should be able to work right now. Yeah, okay. Okay. Just minimize this and open the prime board app, please. Yeah. 
Now click on startup. Yeah, it works now. Mm -hmm. Please confirm that. Go back, go back, use the arrow at the top to go back. All right, so that is working already. Um, if you have more funds, you can actually start trading any other any, any other uh, coin. coin in the market, yes. So here, you know, you take profit when this price gets to $2. The current price now is $2.47. So you take profit when it gets to $2.52. So, but okay. if it goes down to $2.40, then the first coverage, the first cover will be co co uh, triggered and so on and so forth. Okay. All right. So, any other question? Thank you very much. Any other question? If there is no other question, then we'll call it a day and um, see you in the next <laughs> Zoom meeting. Please, I have one question, please. What's the question? Hello? Yeah, what is your question, please? What's your question? Please. I, I can Mostly tell you. on the network for um, signal before we carry out the trading. So, always wait for a signal. Um, Stephen, if you can hear me, you must not always wait for a signal. If you know the coin to trade, if you know the direction of the market, what the coin oh, is yeah. doing, whatever you, if you understand how to enter the trade, yes, you can enter a trade without waiting for signals. The reason for sending a signal is because you can't trade randomly. You cannot just see any trade, any coin in the market and go and trade it. Some of those trade, the bank might have been stagnant for a month or thereabout for some days. So we see opportunity, you know, when the indicator tells you that the market is going up, that's when we say, okay, there's opportunity to buy or to, you know, buy this coin right now, buy and expect the price to move up. But if you understand all of these things, you can do them yourself without actually waiting for the signals. So you must not always wait for signals. All right, if that is understood, then we call it a day. And um, once again, thank you for making it our time, making our time to always be in the meeting. We'll meet again, hopefully tomorrow we'll then a meeting and we'll continue like that. Before first quarter of this year, you should be able um, to make something reasonable from crypto um, trading as well. So that is all I have for you in this video and in this meeting, sorry. And I'll see you guys in the next meeting. Bye, everybody.